It's very much a Western, but it's also a bit of a road movie. And it's about kind of two outsiders who have to go on a journey. As soon as I started reading it, I was bowled away by the world. The world's kind of really sort of fallen into a lawless sort of mayhem. You know, there's been an economic collapse. So I wanted the world of the movie to feel like a new gold rush. People have crawled out to work in and around the mines, and so suddenly, next thing you know, there's this world of hustlers and dirty criminals. In that mayhem of the year or two after Animal Kingdom, I thought, you know what, I need to consolidate my voice, whatever that is, and I want to work with people I really love and feel like I'm keeping some level of control over the thing that I'm making. What I wanted to do is come back to Australia and make another movie here. You know, I wanted there to be some parts that felt like busted and urban and other parts that felt entirely desolate. Those strangely, almost abandoned Australian desert towns are really quite haunting and, and beautiful. And there's nowhere else like these places on Earth. I love the idea of a movie that's set in the future but is a, a very believable future. What really pulled it out was when the DP came and she really pulled the beauty out of the locations that they had found. I think the challenge was to find the language of the movie and how to photograph it in a subtle way. You know, it's all about the atmosphere and the relationship with these two people and the tension between them. To me, it harks back to, to great westerns, you know, a violent world where men are figuring out their survival. Working with those departments, costume and makeup, even production design, you know, the people who are building the environment, it always becomes something bigger and richer than you had first envisaged.